Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news on Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed on the 23rd of July last Renaissance Day, wishing His Majesty lasting good health and happiness and the Omani people further progress and prosperity under His Majesty's wise leadership. His Majesty the King praised the constantly developing and growing deep-rooted fraternal ties between the two brotherly countries and and peoples. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Egypt's President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi on the July Glorious Revolution Day, wishing him lasting good health and happiness and the Egyptian people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King praised the constantly developing and growing deep rooted fraternal ties between the two brotherly countries and peoples. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Sultan of Oman, His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed, on the Sultanate's blessed Renaissance Day. His Royal Highness the Premier wished His Majesty lasting good health and happiness and the Omani people further progress and prosperity under His Majesty's wise leadership. His Royal Highness the Premier also praised the solid brotherly relations between the two countries and peoples in various fields. His Royal Highness the Premier sent a similar congratulatory cable to the Deputy Prime Minister for Cabinet Affairs, His Highness Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Said. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Egypt's President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi on the July Glorious Revolution Day. His Royal Highness the Premier wished the Egyptian President lasting good health and happiness and the brotherly Egyptian people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Premier sent a similar congratulatory cable to Egyptian Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at the Qaraibiya Palace today. Following the meeting, the Cabinet Secretary General Yasser bin Isa Al Nasser made the following statement. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister followed up on the adequacy of the housing, health and youth and infrastructure projects and services. His Royal Highness then directed the Ministry of Housing to allocate land for housing in villages to accommodate the requirements of the residents and directed coordination in this regard between the ministry and the relevant authorities. His Royal Highness issued directives to develop the level of services provided to the residents of Karza Khan to include the creation and paving of roads, the expansion of their health center, and to meet their needs of housing, educational and youth facilities. His Royal Highness issued directives to complete the project of establishing fuel tanks at Bahrain International Airport by the end of next October, according according to the timetable set for it. He instructed the relevant authorities to make optimal use of the current reservoir site after operating the above fuel tanks and further benefit the people of Arad. His Royal Highness issued directives to preserve and increase the maritime seafront and to highlight the aesthetic and civilized aspects in the areas where the new projects and development projects are carried out, thus creating aesthetic features and maintaining open spaces for the citizens. The cabinet can condemned Iran's detention of a British oil tanker in the Strait of Hormuz as a dangerous escalation and a threat to the security and of navigation and violation of international law. The cabinet called on the international community to exercise its role not to expose the Arab Gulf in general and the Strait of Hormuz at any risks that threaten regional and international shipping routes as well as world supply of energy and trade.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa directed to expedite the implementation of several major developmental projects in Muharraq at a cost of about 50 million Bahraini dinars and to complete the implementation according to a prepared schedule. His Royal Highness also reviewed the implementation of a number of projects. He directed to prepare the second stage of a number of projects following the completion of the first stage. The cabinet reviewed developmental projects and roads buildings and the sewage system by reviewing the projects submitted in the tenders of three sectors. The cabinet also reviewed the progress of under-implementation projects. The cabinet approved amending Edict 30-2014 on waiving utility and municipal fees for deceased citizens on condition that the waived fees be prior to demise by at least two years rather than one year as the currently case is. The cabinet approved the memorandum of the Minister of Transport Transportation and telecommunications aimed at increasing cooperation with the Universal Postal Union and the Quality of Service Fund under, under it to develop postal service and improve mail processing and delivery. The Cabinet approved the government's responses prepared by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on two proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives, the first on pedestrian movement between Ma'amir Village and East Eker, and the second on smoking areas in the Ministry. Industries. The cabinet was briefed, on the re was briefed on the results of the Minister of Foreign Affairs' participation in the Ministerial to Advance Religious Freedom held in Washington recently. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed on the Sultanate's Blessed Renaissance Day, wishing His Majesty lasting good health and happiness and the Omani people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised the deep-rooted relations between the both brotherly countries and peoples in various fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent a similar congratulatory cable to His Highness Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for Cabinet Affairs. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Egypt's President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi on the glorious July Revolution anniversary, wishing him lasting good health and happiness and the brotherly Egyptian people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness praised the deep rooted amicable ties between the two countries and peoples in various fields. The Representatives' Council signed an agreement today with the Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies, Derasat, in the presence of Representatives' Council Speaker Fawziya Zainal and Derasat Chairman of Trustees Board Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. For more on this issue, we are now joined by the CEO of Derasat, Mr. Qatar Zaman. Hello, Mr. Zaman. Thank you for joining us. Can you please tell us more about the agreement of cooperation and what it includes? Uh, the departure point for this memorandum of understanding is the commitment of both parties in supporting His Majesty King Hamad's reform project. Jarasad strongly believes in assisting Bahrain's democratic institutes and their representatives as part of its commitment to the reform project, while also placing its great importance on developing relationships and ties with other national institutes. In terms of specific areas of cooperation, well, the MOU focuses on collaborative research, on important contemporary issues as well as border strategic issues under the umbrella of societal cooperation and with the goal of supporting the Council of Representatives in its legislative oversight and uh, diplomatic responsibilities. More generally, the Rasat <coughs> always tries to improve the level of cooperation between the Kingdom's various entities and to build robust partnerships as such activities support the Rasat in its mission of producing distinctive and high-quality research, which, to, which in turn helps Bahrain to respond to developments as and when they arise. Moreover, the Rasat's research contributes to the realization of the Sustainable Development Goals, and which play an important role in the Kingdom's economic policy. That was the CEO of Durasat, Mr. Qatar Zaman. Thank you very much for joining us today. 
Upon the directives of His Majesty Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa to establish the Abdullah bin Khalid College for Islamic Studies, the General Secretariat of Higher Education at the Ministry of Education received students who wish to enroll in the college to study the bachelor's program in Sharia and Islamic Sciences for the academic year 2018-2019, graduates from the Jafar Religion Institute and from public and private schools. The Minister of Education and Chairman of the Higher Education Council, Majid bin Ali Al Nuaimi, paid a visit to the registration office in the ministry's hall where he met with a number of students and their parents and followed up on the progress of the registration process. The college aims to prepare qualified graduates in the fields of Islamic jurisprudence and legal procedures in addition to Islamic sciences and banking through specialized academic and training programs. On this occasion, the minister affirmed that the Abdullah bin Khalid College for Islamic Studies, which is set to open in the beginning of the next academic year 2000, 2019-2020 is a great addition to the higher education march in Bahrain. He pointed out that the ministry has taken all necessary steps to prepare students for admission to this college, which implements a sophisticated approach that emphasizes the tolerance of Islam and strengthens the national spirit among its members and contributes in providing them with the skills and knowledge necessary to upgrade educational outputs. On the sidelines of its participation in the Ministerial Conference to Advance Religious Freedom held in Washington, D.C., the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, in cooperation with This is Bahrain, organized a dinner banquet in the presence of Bahraini Ambassador to the U.S. Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa. Elite political decision makers, representatives of civil society organization, religious scholars from the USA and abroad, media persons and journalists. The attendees were briefed on the goal of the center and the philosophy of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to promote the Bahraini experience of peaceful coexistence throughout its history. The Board of Trustees Chairman of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, noted that the Kingdom's efforts are advancing in promoting His Majesty's approach on the importance of conveying the Bahraini experience in coexistence and peace to the world. He added that His Majesty the King's speech through Bahrain's declaration was an international speech which addressed all humanity where everyone expressed its importance at a time of rising ethnic and religious hatred. This freedom is beyond a priority of the United States government you know, and, and Bahrain continues to be an example of a leader. You know the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration, the King Hamad Center for Peaceful Coexistence you know, and, and last year at the same ministerial which was a very big event but not as big as this year. You know, the first foreign speaker at, at the ministerial was the foreign minister of, of Bahrain. And so Bahrain remains in the heart of the conversation. And uh, it, it's good to have everyone back in Washington, D.C. Prince Faisal bin Mohammed bin Lahoum bin Shreem al Mirri reiterated full allegiance to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa against all conspiracies to destabilize Bahrain. Speaking on behalf of the Al Mirra family in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and the Jisham tribes in Najran, he slammed the heinous cutlery attempts to subvert the security, stability, national unity of the people of Bahrain and Arabian Gulf nationals. Prince Faisal praised to pray to Allah Almighty to bless His Majesty to the king with abundant health, happiness and long life, reiterating unwavering allegiance and loyalty to the leadership of His Majesty the King. Prince Faisal backed all measures being taken by Bahrain to protect its security and unity and affirm commitment to national fundamentals and values which are based on allegiance and dedicated work to achieve the progress and prosperity of Bahrain and Arabian Gulf countries. The families of Al Tamim, Al Ansari, Al Marra, Al Jazaf, Al Hidan, Al Bin Khalil, Al Umari, Al Nama, and Al Mehza, and the families in Samahij village, as well as the general authority of Husseini processions, reiterated their strong, unwavering allegiance and loyalty to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and vowed to defend our immaculate homeland under the banners and historic leadership of Al Khalifa royal family. The families condemned Qatar's false 
allegations and lies unfounded upon any truth and aim to stir strife among the united Bahraini people who have reiterated their strong unflinching loyalty to the kingdom's historic leadership they strongly denounced the attempts by Qatar's Al Jazeera channel aimed to undermine the kingdom's security and stability airing the so-called what is hidden is more immense program which was an abject failure the families and tribes of Al Rumethi, Al Nifai, Al Shamsi, Al Shahrani, Al Abyuki, Al Mutiri, Al Alewi, Al Khlaifat, Al Qadaymi, and Bin Hamid reiterated their strong, unwavering allegiance and loyalty to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, and vowed to defend our immaculate homeland under the leadership of His Majesty. To the king. They expressed their condemnation in strongest terms of the Qatari regime's desperate attempts to undermine Bahrain's security, stability, and civic peace. The families of Taqi family of late Brigadier Ali Mirza, Qasim, Albi, Al Uthman, Al Bin Zayed, Al Bin Falah, Al Dakhil, Al Hishail, and Al Hashimi condemned Qatar fabricated lies aimed to sow sedition within the United Bahraini people who have reiterated their firm unflinching loyalty to the kingdom's historic leadership. They strongly denounced Qatar's Al Jazeera channel attempts to undermine the kingdom's security and stability, airing the so called what is hidden is more immense program which was an abject failure after its staff became devoid of any of the ethics and rules of professional media in a bid to mislead the public opinion through such blatant lies and false allegations that have been exposed to the whole world. The families of Al Abbasi, Amini, Qabil, Al Ibrahim, Al Mullah, Al Saidi, Al Husseini, Al Mu'alla, Bu Alai, and Al Nahim reiterated loyalty to the royal leadership and standing up against the attempts targeting the homeland security and stability, taking pride in the achievements made under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. They reiterated full allegiance to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. They strongly condemned the lies and fabrications of the Qatar-based Al Jazeera channel that targeted destabilizing the homeland's security and stability, stressing standing by all measures taken by the Kingdom of Bahrain to defend the national unity and social fabric.